I think one of the most damaging misunderstandings that often shows up is when people will say, you know, in real life colloquially, but take that seriously as if what's online isn't real. I, I, I don't like the, the saying of real versus virtual. It's, it's all real. My name in Second Life is Kath McGill. I'm 57 years old. I have been through a series of avatars. This is what they call a tiny avatar. I'm upright wearing a little dress with a bustier, a little pillbox hat, and a pearl necklace. Solace to me represents a healthy, healthy version of me. Does that make sense? I can look at Solace and her hands don't shake. She's who I see myself as and not who I see in the mirror each morning. If I could get little pointed ears to wear the physical world, I'd probably do it. You know, and then my therapist talked to me about the screen generation and that I shouldn't become a part of the screen generation. And I'm like, you'll never see me at a restaurant looking at a screen. If I'm there, I'm there with a human being and I'm gonna be interacting with them. That was about almost a year ago. I started working here with Cody. Before that, I had never seen anything like that. I would call it a game, but he would get mad and say, it's not a game. To be honest with you, I even kind of thought, how am I going to look putting that on and, you know, everybody's just staring at me. My favorite interaction ever with my disability in real life was from a little boy. I had all my braces on and this little boy comes and he points at my braces and he says, do those hurt? And I said, they actually make it hurt less. And he put on a big grin and he said, that's good because you look like Tron. And I thought, that's awesome. The disease, it takes from you, but it gives back too. I remember my son, he was five at the time when I finally retired. He said, mommy, I'm so glad you have Parkinson's. And I'm like, okay, interesting. And I go, why is that? And he's like, well, because you're home with me all the time now. You're here. You are being customized here to resemble your Second Life avatar. Is that something you can live with? Different virtual worlds treat embodiment in very different ways. Customization is really important. And if you can't afford those things, then it creates a certain hierarchy. Ableism is a huge issue of privilege that we don't normally think of as privilege. Second Life is shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard it here first. <laughs>